Speaking on the significance of the day, some respondents said girls continuing to face social and cultural restrictions, limited access to education and funding for research, thereby preventing them from scientific careers and reaching their full potentials. They called on government at all levels and stakeholders to promote full participation of girls and women in science by offering mentoring opportunities to young women scientists and rangery assistants in enhancing their career development. Before you start doing research, you, they have to be educated, very well educated, and they know the do's and the don'ts and what will make that profession go higher. And there should be subvention for a girl child, women, to encourage them. Because most of them don't have, you know, enough to be able to carry them forward. I would say as a woman, you don't have to depend solely on the government. Okay, if it is 100%, you try your 50, government will add 50 for you. My advice for the government is... They should help those that are ready to learn. So they should create a center where women can go and get equipped with technology. It is uh, very good for me and female to involve on this uh, uh, research. It is not just merely made for uh, uh, men alone. I beg the federal government to please encourage those youth of tomorrow. If we cannot build up today, by tomorrow the nation is falling. If one can start building today, in 20 years time, the nation will be more higher than as it is today. Like the first woman to go to space, she was a Chinese woman. She went alone and she was able to do, you know, a lot of things. I will encourage that even the federal government, the state government, whatever they are doing, no matter any, whether it's science, any technology, anything at all, they should involve women. The United Nations General Assembly declared 11th February every year as International Day of Women and Girls in Science in order to achieve full and equal access to and participation in science for women and girls and further achieve gender equality and the empowerment of women and girls. Rosalind Evorame reporting.